The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference. Welcome back. Well, the sun is back. Well, the sun Where? isn't really Where? back, to be honest with you yet, but it is coming back, according to Derek. <laughs> so don't put the barbecue ju away just yet. Jack O'Keefe has wheeled his out again, and he's serving up some sticky pork ribs. Oh, Looking forward to this, they're Jack. Brilliant. So the first step is, right, before you start cooking your ribs, is we're going to make our the spice seasoning. mix. So our rub. Now, you can get good rubs in butchers if your spice grinder gets onto the top of it. Okay. Inside this, we have some coffee beans, some salt, some smoked paprika, <clears throat> uh, some cayenne pepper, some garlic powder, and some onion powder. Co I've heard of all of that, but not coffee beans. Now, the coffee beans gives that lovely, delicious, really heavy roasted flavor. Um, we're talking like... If you have a tablespoon of salt, you want to put in about the same amount of coffee beans. Okay, okay. So, right. Oh. And now with have ribs, is it important to, to oh, it's good, uh, to, so you rub that on early and let it kind of marinate, no, is it? No, because it's going to be cooking for about three hours at 150 oh, degrees God's Celsius. Sake. So it's going to have low oh, this, It's time. low and yeah. slow, Alan, with the ribs, just you give, see. Just give it a good rub. Yeah, give it yeah. a good rub. Rub Get on the ribs. Get your butcher to prep it for you, okay? So there's going to be silver skin on the bottom of it, which can be quite tough and rubbery. Ask your butcher to do that for you and just remove it very quickly. Uh, because there's a little bit of apple juice just to keep it nice apple and moist. Apple juice? Yeah, or if you're the bougie kind, you can use a bit of cider or even champagne if you want it. That'd be ridiculous to wear champagne in this, actually. Champagne in your ribs, right? Ignore yeah, my yeah, notions. Yeah, no. On a Tuesday that morning. That is big notions of a Tuesday okay, so, morning. Okay, so what's that, uh, the paper, first of all? So that's, first we have parchment paper, and then we're Par moving on to tin foil to wrap it up. The reason I put parchment paper inside is is because sometimes with you know, supermarket tin foil, it can fall apart, it can break apart, and it can stick to the ribs. Oh, yeah. And then you end up pulling bits of tin foil out of your off teeth, the, and it's off disgusting. The ribs and everything, right? yeah. Into the barbecue, away from the direct heat, pop your lid down, control your barbecue to about For three hours? Three hours. Make sure the barbecue is at about 150 degrees Celsius. Or, and I know this is cheating, right? Use the oven. So pop that into the oven before you go to bed. bed. Set your oven to 150 degrees. I only get three hours before sleep. Before you by go the way. to bed. Yeah. Can't be leaving your oven on going to bed. Of course you can. We love overnight cooking. Oh. Imagine how good the kitchen would smell the next morning. But I wouldn't be encouraging anybody to be leaving their oven on overnight going <laughs> I don't, to bed. I don't really understand though. How can you keep? So do you keep topping up the charcoal or the wood or whatever on the barbecue for, for three, three hours? hours or do you, is it getting cooler as those three hours go it's on? It's getting cooler as those three hours go on. So when you go into oh, a bar, like a gas okay. barbecue, is going to be a lot easier. Yeah. You just turn it on and you walk away, and that's it. With a charcoal, there's a bit more enjoyment to it. There's a bit more skill. You're going back to it. You're checking up on it and all that, and it's more and like the a smokiness. It's more like a sleeping child. Right. Okay. <laughs> but don't open them. Don't, don't open try them. and open them having a look during yeah, those three Yeah, every time hours. I do this, it's releasing temperature and it's dropping down again. And if I have only a minimal amount of charcoal in there, it's going to take ages for it to reheat. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, if you're doing a big party at home, having loads of friends over, do it in the oven the night before, let it cool down, and that's okay. it. Right, so Barbecue this is sauce, the sauce, yeah. Onions and garlic, sweat it off. In here, we're putting paprika, muscovado sugar, uh, and a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder. Stir that in. Wait till the Just sugar starts to melt. That, show that Look there that. like that, yeah. It's all melting down. Then molasses for a really sweet, almost kind of licorice flavour. That is to get that really, really deep. Look so, at that. Oh, this is the kind of thing you can clean. Like you put this into the dishwasher <laughs> about 15 <laughs> times to get that. <laughs> oh my god. Is it worth it? Is it worth the taste on that? Yeah, it's really Look, good. Yes, I want to try is. the molasses. It's yeah. so it's good. That. But if you don't have it, right? Maple syrup is ideal as well at home. Okay. Mm. Then mustard and some cider vinegar and tomato ketchup. Now, I, I know this is a stupid question. You just buy molasses in supermarket. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I yeah. haven't really seen And you can get a watered down version known as squeezy bottle, just okay. like the honey, you know, easy pour. All right. A little bit of water in on top of that. And then leave that simmer down and stew for about 20 to 30 minutes at a nice me medium to low temperature. And when it's finished, it'll be all nice and thick. You get a stick blender and you just buzz it up really quick oh, into a nice okay. smooth barbecue sauce. And you're left with this. That's right. it there. Jack's Delicious. barbecue sauce. Jack's barbecue Is it your sauce. own barbecue we'll sauce? We'll sell it. We have a minute now, so let's get right. chopping here. Here's your uh, macaroni and you cheese. You made a macaroni. Little extra <sighs> as a treat. I must come on another Give day and do macaroni. There, Jack. I gave you gloves for a reason. There you go. Oh, Thank I know, you. but you can't pick the <laughs> macaroni get up with the, into the right. macaroni. And, and this is just bechamel sauce. Uh, yeah, so it's a bechamel sauce. Butter, flour, milk, gruyere, uh, and some Irish mature cheddar. Oh, wow, look at them. And then finished off with a little bit of celery salt. Oh, look at those ribs. Look and with the these. ribs, Jack, do you take it out of the foil and put it back into yes. the barbecue? So after the three hours, right, yeah. remove it from your oven, open the foil and the wrapping, pour yeah. some barbecue sauce in, give it a shake, and then leave it cool down. And the following day, just reheat it. The following day? What do you yeah. mean the following day? You could do it the following day. So the night before, if you come home from work, 
let's say, at six o'clock. Bang into the oven for three hours. So at nine o'clock, these are all mine. These are all yours. Give them the knife. Oh my God! Chop them all up. Oh no! Some chives because I'm pretty like that. Okay. Oh, we can, we're going to tuck in. <laughs> now, you can find out more of, on Jack's recipes over on his Instagram page. That's uh, Chef Jack O'Keefe. Yeah, I'm a big fo big follower oh, of that page. page. He's all his, all his <laughs> recipes <laughs> over Coming there. Coming up after nine, Belfast Boxing siblings Aidan and Michaela Walsh join us. Looking forward to chatting to them. Uh, oh, we check out trendy transport options. We're back up to this. Oh, oh they're delicious. Oh, they're delicious. Yeah. Oh, they're good. Probably. Mmm. <laughs> The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference.